Shalom, we we'll start off by giving all praises, glories, and honors unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Church of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you, sincere Akim, you brothers that's pushing this truth and sincerity in the true name and the true doctrine about the times we're in the to, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's your brother Kodash Paya in this lesson. As you can see, man, fight the good fight of faith. That's in First Timothy chapter six, verse twelve. You know, because it's a, it, we're constantly fighting. You know, we're in a world where it goes against the Lord. You know, everything in the society goes contrary to what the scriptures say. So we're trying to be righteous men, right? In a wicked place, in a God-forsaken uh, land, the land of forsaken. So that's why the scriptures refer to this place as the valley of the shadow of death, you know? America, a.k.a. Babylon, and the rest of these countries around the world that's, that's in that same spirit. And, um... You know, that's part of growing. When you fight, you know, you got to endure. You got to, you know, we're defenders of the gospel. So when you are in defense mode, you're defending attacks. And we're always being attacked. You know, that's why we take up the shield of faith. You know, to fight and and, and to combat the fiery darts of Satan. Because, you know, we, die, we battle uh, uh, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. But... You know, things do happen physically, but we ought to understand why they happen on a spiritual level. You know, so without further ado, let's get some precepts. I got a couple scriptures. I um, I don't have them in order, but uh, this is First Timothy chapter six, verse twelve. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called. And has professed a good profession before many witnesses. So, you know, people see your works. Just like our forefathers when they went out there to, um, you know, to prophesy. And to warn the people. And to uh, lift up your voice like a trumpet. And show the, the people their transgressions. You know, and to bid them to the marriage. To come out the ways of the world. And to get right. And acknowledge Yahweh Shem Shai and the Lord's statutes and commandments. And to rehearse these righteous acts, you know. So, that's what's staying on that that straight gate, that now path. You know, no matter where you go and no matter where you at, you know, because that's church. Our forefathers used to travel, man. Right, and we all got to seek out our our own salvation with fear and trembling. You know. It says in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 25, verse 6, And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Right? Midnight. And we're approaching midnight. You know, we're about in the 11th hour. You know, when midnight comes, man, that's it. You know, that's, that's the doors of repentance is closing. You know, midnight, 12 o'clock. And we know that uh, in boxing, there's 12 rounds. So you got to con consistently endure, you know, make sure you're in defense, make sure it's st strategic, you know. But we're comparing that with that with the scriptures. Because all our forefathers, primarily Yahweh Shai, you know, had to fight, right. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. So you want to be the wise virgins to trim your lamps, man. You know, you want to keep this word, keep it going because not only just keeping it, but applying it too. You know, no matter what the situation you're in. Say Matthew chapter 20 verse 6. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle. And saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He said, He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So, you're going to have men that wake up in that eleventh hour, man. And... You know, as we approach midnight, that 12 hour, right, um, things will intensify and, and, and we're heading to that hour of temptation, you know, which is the greatest, you know, when you hit that 12th round, right, that's when you want to, you go hard, you know, you go as hard as you can, you know what I mean, so... This is the book of St. John, chapter 9, verse 4. I must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. So we're heading to that time when no man can work no more. You know, and that's what's 
um, that's prophetic too. You know, the, the the famine of the word. You know, when we're not out there, when we're not able to do these lessons and bid them to the marriage because the doors of repentance is closing. You know, and that's when we're going to have, you know, have to really put everything we did and learn and apply when all hell break loose, man. The faith, you know, being, you know. So, this book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to to stand against the wiles of the devil, right? So we put it on that armor, you know, because we're at war. We're at, we're, we're, it's physical and spiritual, you know, but we're putting on that spiritual armor. You know, like the scriptures say, our wep the weapons of, uh, of our warfare are not carnal. So we're combating, you know, um, with that spiritual armor against whatever comes at us spiritually and physically, you know? Because with the word of the Lord, that's, that's, that's power right there. You know, in the sense of spiritual power, even prayer. Right? So, always keep that in mind, man. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness, of the darkness, of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. So we want to do all to stand, man. Right? It says, stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of, of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of Satan. So, you don't want Satan to hit a bullseye, man. You know, you want to come, uh, 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 reflect those fiery darts. You know, by keeping your mind meditated unto the word, unto this, uh, unto Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Because everything is crumbling here, man. You know, and all these uh, uh, restrictions and fear tactics and temptations coming at us. You know more and more, and um, it's 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 gonna get more critical. So yeah, man. It says praying always with all prayers. So like it. Wait, hold on. Let me jump to seventeen. It says and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance. And supplication for all saints. You know. This is Ecclesiasticus. Or known as Sirach chapter 51 verse 2. For thou art my defender and helper. Which is the Lord. And has preserved my body from destruction. And from the snare of the slanderous tongue. Which is who? These elites. Right. Coming with the slanderous tongue. And the snare which is the traps. Which they're using in a form of what? Fear tactics. And their uh, technologies. You know like uh. Elon Musk now promoting the neural links, putting brain implants as we head to 2022. So now they want to lock people up if they don't submit to this. So that's where we're heading to, man. But if the Lord is dealing with you, he's going to put that hedge over. He's going to defend you. And from the lips that forge lies and has been mine helper against mine adversaries. You know, and look at how the Lord always defended his men. You know, when they were together, when there was men by themselves in the wilderness, you know, in the mountains, right? Even Yahweh Shai had to leave sometimes to go by himself to pray unto the Lord, you know? And the Lord, will always, you know, always defended them, right? Even when our forefathers got locked up, they were by themselves, but you know, ne never really by yourself. The scriptures say the angels are camping around them, them that fear, you know? So... That's powerful, man. Philippians 1 and 17, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. So we're defending it in, 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 a, in hell, in a society where they go against it. You know, so that's a fight. <laughs> and it, it doesn't end until the Lord come back. So this is uh, first, Second Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty throughout God to the pulling down of strongholds. 
So with this word, we pulling down strongholds like Joshua. When, when the, you know, they were encamping and, you know, I believe they uh, praised the Lord with trumpets and it brought down the walls of Jericho. And that's what we doing. We bringing down this place with this word, man. You know, speaking against it. That's why the Lord said, man, uh, they shall not be left here one stone. You know, because what? That stone, you know, I will, the cornerstone is Yahweh shot, you know, on which we're building our foundation on. So he's going to defend because when the, when that storm comes, it won't be able to uh, uh, take us. We'll be able to withstand that storm, right? Rather than this place referred to as a, a house on sand. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. So this place exalts itself, boasts against the word of the Lord and the people that's in it, which is going to be taken with this place. It says, I'm bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right, one more precept. It says, Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. There you go. So there you go, man. All right. We're, we're, we're in a time of war, you know, and, you know, seek you the Lord while you may be found, you know, fight the good fight of faith. So with that, I hope it was uplifting through the spirit of power. Yahabashim, Yahshua, till next time, Shalom.